Hello everyone, it's time for the answer portion of the question and answer video, and it did take over a month to get to it, but however we also have over 300 questions to answer. So while I'm answering questions for your video entertainment, I'm going to be attempting to install Windows 95 from 30 floppy diskettes on this very neat IBM ThinkPad 701C, which has a very cool keyboard which folds out when you open it. So while that's installing, go ahead and watch that and you can listen to me answer the questions which will also be on the screen. So without further ado, let's get started. Richard James asks, what do you go to school for? Well, currently I'm a graduate student at the University of Texas at Dallas in the Geospatial Information Sciences program, which is uh, basically using satellite imagery to make maps and generic cartography. Disk Flame Does Games asks, how much time slash hard work does it take to get the viruses onto the floppy disks? Uh, it's actually not bad at all. I've got a pretty nice IBM external floppy drive here, USB, that I got from Rogamp actually. It was nice enough to send that to me and it works really well. So I'm pretty much able to get the viruses from my desktop to the floppies and then to wherever I need to go. Uh, if I need viruses on a five and a quarter inch, I can just send them to my Packard Bell and then transfer them from a three and a half inch floppy disk there to a five and a quarter inch disk to wherever it needs to go. Furp Lerp Jerpington asks, would you ever consider doing a gaming channel? No. XFinDZN asks, I'll start with the most obvious question. What's the most interesting malware you've tested? And to that I'd have to say CIH because there's not a whole lot of viruses that touch the hardware like CIH does. Master Conservative asks, can you DDoS someone? Maybe a private website by you? No. The Dubstep Rock God asks, where did you learn this stuff? Uh, well, started in 2004 when I got infected by Sasser, and pretty much just started reading F-Secure write-ups on various viruses, worms, trojans, what have you. And that turned into following security blogs and pretty much just researching everything I could. Anthony74561 asks, what motivated you to make the videos you make? Well, it started in late 2008 when I noticed exactly one other person, whose name was On Neutral on YouTube, was making videos of viruses in action, and I wanted to do that too, because I was really interested in it, and pretty much nobody else besides him was doing it. So I decided to take it up. I didn't expect it to be very popular, I just wanted to do it because that was my hobby, and I thought it was interesting, and I wanted to make some videos, so that's what I decided to go with. Amahabir7 asks, what is your favorite virus that you have tested? And to that I'd have to say, OpaServe. The Squishy asks, what was your first computer you owned and what was your first virus you tested? I don't know the exact model or make of my first computer, but I know I got it in around 1994 or 95. It's probably a Gateway 2000 PC that my parents used to use. And the first virus I tested was the Love Letter Worm, actually, I tested that in 2007, I believe. Slain Ender asks, will you do a virus for Windows 8? Uh, I would, except there's not a whole lot of point to it because viruses for Windows 7 and 8 nowadays are really not very interesting to be on video, and you wouldn't see a lot of the special payloads that you see with the current videos that I do. So if you're content with watching a desktop for five minutes while I explain what's going on, then I can make videos about it, but other than that, no, I probably won't make videos on Windows 8. Hatsune Meeks asks, Do you play games mostly on your free time? Uh, sometime. Depends on if my friends are available to play Battlefield or Age of Empires 2 HD or Age of Mythology or anything like that, but usually I don't play single-player games a whole lot unless I'm playing some retro console games every now and then. Usually I just work on some other stuff like school or other hobbies in my free time. Lance Neo Anderson asks, will you do a horrible virus on Windows 8.1? If somebody makes a horrible virus for Windows 8.1, I will definitely take a look at it. Faisal Flame asks, what's the first virus you remember? Uh, probably Love Letter, I want to say. I kind of remember some news reports about that in 2000, but I didn't really learn any specifics until much later. Shay McMillan says, I got a list. And he asks, favorite band? Well, I listen to a lot of chip tunes and video game music, so not a whole lot of bands, but as far as bands go, I'd have to say, hmm, Devo. 
also asks favorite video game and that is Sonic 3 and Knuckles for the Sega Genesis asks when will Gaben make episode 3 I'm going to go out on a limb and say 2015 and PC specs uh, my current desktop I built myself is running an i7 2600k with 16 gigabytes of RAM, an ATI Radeon HD 6970, and a few terabytes of hard drive space in there. Zephemeros asks, what is life? Naz is life. Mara Juegos Original asks, what's your worst virus you've ever encountered? I'd have to say probably CIH that I've personally encountered. Mr. 46683 asks, what is your favorite technology company? Uh, as far as vintage technology goes, probably IBM. As far as current technology, either Microsoft or Google, probably. I don't really follow technology companies too much, so... Sorry, I can't give a really too more descript answer. Michael Barnett asks, how badly has one of your viruses in a virtual machine went? Got through shared folders and stuffed everything on your main PC, for example. Um, uh, well, when I did the Gigger Worm video, it ended up getting through my shared folders and deleted probably like five or six files. It wasn't a lot. But it's a good lesson to have that you can lose anything at any time. And so, when I go into this hobby, I always live by the advice that you shouldn't do it if you're not willing to lose everything on every PC on your network all at once. Which I really am, because I have good backups. Waymoo asks, where are my shoelaces? Well, I don't know where they are, but they're always in the last place you look. McLean33 asks, so what are you studying in college slash did you graduate? Also, when did you start messing with viruses and how did you learn exactly what they do? Was it just trial and error process or did you observe the code and understand it? Uh, well, I'm studying GIS, as I said earlier. I graduated m with my undergrad last year, and I started messing, at least researching viruses in 2004, and pretty much just read virus company descriptions to understand what they do. However, I am starting to learn assembly, so I can attempt to reverse engineer some of these samples myself. Vivo71 asks, not really a question, but can you do some viruses on MSPOS ready? I'm assuming it's a point-of-sale machine version of Windows, so probably not. Tower Smash asks, what virus do you like the most? And to that I'd have to say, Magister. Killa with a AK-47 asks, will you ever do any Mac of website viruses? I believe he means or website viruses. If you haven't tried this yet, do it! Put 666 after youtube.com and you spam the refresh button until your computer gets this scary background. I don't know if it still works, but try it. Let me answer the last half of your question first. That's actually a pretty badly done hoax, which I will never do because it doesn't exist, and it never did exist. And no, I probably won't do any Macintosh viruses. Maybe some classic Mac viruses if I can get it to work, but not in the foreseeable future. Axel Fu asks, what was the first virus you have ever tested? And that was Love Letter in 2007. Luis Flores asks, hard tacos or soft tacos? And that's an easy one. Definitely soft tacos. Golden Crab asks, do you think you will be able to create your own virus? Probably if I wanted to, though I don't know much about coding, but I don't really want to, so no. Killa with the AK-47 again asks, what's your fave retro video game? Uh, either Sonic 3 and Knuckles, like I said before, or if we want to go NES, probably Mega Man 2 or 6. DMG Infinity Warrior asks, Windows 8 or 8.1? I prefer 8. I say Windows 7, because I don't really use Windows 8 ever. If I had to choose between your choices, I guess 8.1. I guess, but I don't use it, so I don't really have a preference. M Link asks, have you ever been infected and got scared? Yes, and then I moved with my auntie and uncle in Bel Air. Killa with an AK-47 asks, can we send viruses to you so you can have fun with them? No, I don't accept user-made malware, unless it's for MS-DOS written in assembly. Sorry. Vey Gang asks, what has been your worst non-deliberate infection? As in, the worst virus you've encountered in the wild without attempting to get infected. Uh, either Sasser in 2004 or some generic root kit that I got in 2007. 
neither were too difficult to remove, so it wasn't too bad. Pyropemancy asks, Since the focus seems to be more on adware and ransomware these days, are there really any just plain viruses anymore? Yes, there are, but they're not nearly as prevalent as pretty much any Trojan or any other kind of modern malware that you would see today. XP Lowers U asks, What is one virus that you couldn't fix without wiping the whole computer clean? Well, if you want to be on the safe side, I'd say any virus that you get infected with. But if I had to choose one, OpaServe, because OpaServe pretty much destroys your hard drive anyway, so you have to reinstall. Ugri Nali asks, What's your favorite game? Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Poop Feast 420 asks, Favorite DOS game? I'd say either Space Quest 4 or Descent. Vati Reborn asks, What is your main PC specs? i7 2600K, 16 gigabytes of RAM, ATI Radeon 6970. That's about it. The Lone Wanderer of 101 asks, What's the one thing that you believe people of the world should focus more on? Or focus on more? Uh, I guess trying not to be dicks to each other would be pretty good. I think that would make the world a better place. Shady asks, What's your favorite question that you have been asked? This question right here by Shady. This is my favorite question. Shoiru Master 11 asks, What virtual machine software do you like using? I like to use Microsoft Virtual PC 2007, mainly because I have all my VMs already set up with it and working. Assassin111 asks, Where do you foresee the success of your channel to be at, subscriber-wise? What's your favorite virus, and have you ever been affected by these viruses on accident? Uh, hopefully by the end of this year I want to be at 50,000 subscribers, and I think I have a chance at making that happen. My favorite virus is probably the Sasser Worm, and there was one time when I was testing the PC Bomb Trojan written by the ex-Darksider that I accidentally ran it on my host before I put it on the virtual machine, but, uh, I was able to get out of it before it did any damage, so it wasn't too bad. Aaron Strange asks, out of all of your videos, which was the most nefarious rogue slash virus? Probably CIH. Ghost Recon 141 asks, what got you into chiptunes? And furthermore, what got you into wanting to make chiptunes? Well, I've always been really fascinated with video game music. When I was a kid, I used to listen to the sound test in Sonic 2 all the time. And what got me into making them was in 2008, as part of an IV music class, I needed to write some songs, and one of them I wanted to write in 8-bit after playing Mega Man 9, which had just been released that year. And I decided to go with Famitracker, which led to me writing my own 8-bit stuff. Ghost Recon 141 also asks, When are you getting on Skype? Naz. Well, it better be soon. Yes, Pisson asks, Do you make or buying PCs? I build my own PCs for everyday use, and I buy retro PCs if I need them for a specific purpose. Antonio Caesar asks, For you, Windows Premiere Edition was just a commercial thing or it really existed? Because there are a lot of fake Premiere Editions out there that are just modded 1.01. I don't really know what you're talking about. I'm assuming it's about Windows 1.0, but I don't really care about betas, so I have no opinion. Davil Joe 193 asks, if you had to take a guess, how many miles would you believe separated you from Rogamp? Actually, I don't need to guess, I actually know the answer is about 30 miles, and we've actually never met up. Xbox Gaming in High Def asks, why are you so amazing? I don't know. Video Game 73 asks, will you ever try to get together with Rogue again and call up tech support for Rogue Antivirus again? Once again, if the opportunity comes up, we'll probably do it again, but until then, we can't magically create fake tech support companies out of thin air to mess with. So, those videos are going to be very few and far between, which should make them all the more special. Ray Darris asks, what is your process in making a virus video? What aspects go in it, and how do you know which one to do that you want? Well, we'll start with the last one. I pretty much spend a few hours researching through old security write-ups from F-Secure Kaspersky on various viruses. Find one that sounds interesting, and from there you gotta test it on the standalone or virtual machine to see if it actually works, which most of the time they don't. 
And if they work, you got to figure out how, when, and why they work. And then you got to replicate that for the video. And then you got to record. So, probably takes several hours for each virus video. And it's a few steps that go in it, but it's pretty much the same thing every time. Wisdom asks, how many PCs do you own? Uh, a couple of modern PCs and way too many vintage PCs. Metal Boy SK1 asks, when did you start having an interest in computer viruses and computers in general? Well, I don't remember a time in my life that I wasn't interested in computers, so I guess when I was born I was interested in computers. Edison700 asks, how did this hobby of yours get started? Do you have any other hobbies slash collections besides malware? Got started in 2004 when I got infected by Sasser and decided to start learning everything I could about computer viruses. And I like to write 8-bit music and covers on my other 8-bit channel. Bill O'Reilly asks, do you set your toilet paper over or under? And the answer is definitely over. Ron Monster asks, how do you like your steaks? Also, how many games do you own on Steam? I like my steaks medium rare and I own apparently 42 games on Steam. Awesome Aim asks, do you think virus payloads are a form of art? I guess so, some of them are pretty cool. Chili Con Carne asks, are you Mexican? No. The NL Gamer asks, why did you start a YouTube channel and showcase viruses? Because viruses interested me and not a lot of people were doing that at the time. The Sonic Warrior asks, when you reach the eventual end of classic viruses to demo, do you think you'll move on to more modern viruses from the XP Plus era, or will you do something different? I honestly don't know, but I don't foresee myself running out of classic malware for a long time, so I guess we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Will Freddy Zahn asks, do you like to show viruses? Yes. Soft one asks, can you do CIH again? I don't know why I would ever do CIH again, because the last video was pretty definitive as far as it goes, and turned out really well, so no, I will not do CIH again. Crivolda asks, what is specification of your Packard Bell PC, HDD, CPU, etc? Well, it's got a 386SX CPU, I think it's at 20 megahertz. Uh, I just replaced the hard drive, so now it's a 100 megabyte hard drive in there, a Mac store one. And it's got two megabytes of RAM. Big Doctor W Fan Returns asks, "When did you start making videos and why?" Started making videos in late 2008 because not a lot of people were doing videos on computer malware. David Adioyo asks, "What is the deadliest virus you've seen except CIH? Probably Magister, which just takes the CIH payload, or Boomerang, which takes the CIH payload and multiplies it over a computer network." Nathan55411 has six questions and asks, Question 1, what fandoms are you in? None. Question 2, do you ever do requests for viruses? Uh, if somebody's got a good classic virus that actually existed back in the day to request, then yeah, I'll do it. Question 3, if you could create a computer virus, what would it do? Probably something graphical. Question 4, do you use Adblock for Chrome slash Firefox? Of course. Question 5, what is your favorite rouge, I guess rogue? I'm guessing Nava Shield, and you'd be right about that. Question 6, what is the most dangerous virus trojan that does not steal your banking credentials, passwords, etc? I'm guessing CIH, and you're right, once again, it's probably CIH. Intellimac asks, have you ever seen Dexter Rude Removal? Yes. Mr. Matezko YouTube asks, on topic, do you still remember the Win98 product key by memory? Yes, I do. It's DQCJX6MX67363B6WWR8H7PGXG. And you also posted, I remember a video with your face and everything, but since then you've removed it. Why? Well, it was a video of me playing DDR, and that doesn't have anything to do with viruses, so I removed all pretty much non-non-topic videos. Also asks, since when you've been collecting old software, was it before you started creating videos, or it happened because of this? Uh, pretty much goes hand in hand. I started collecting software, really, in 2010. And are you planning to sell the CIH-infected PC, or have you already got rid of it? I got rid of the case, because it was an incredible piece of shit. But I still have the motherboard around, so I might do something with it. I don't know if anybody would want that, though. FPS4L asks, where did you get that old DOS computer? 
I got my Packard Bell Legend 316SX on eBay for $1. AJ Taurus asks, Would you rub butter oil all over your naked body while singing Living in the Sunlight by Tiny Tim on camera? No. AJ the Programmer asks, What is your favorite virus? To that, I probably have to say the Love Letter Worm. Nabagaka asks, Why can't I ever not watch your video? And that's probably because I insert subliminal messages into every single one to make people keep watching. Hera Banani asks, Where did you learn everything you know about viruses? From hundreds of hours of studying on my own from various antivirus vendors. Black Light Flippy has seven questions. First one, what is your favorite virus slash Trojan? So that, I definitely have to say, Happy 99. Number two, how did you get interested about viruses? I started after I got infected with Sasser in 2004. Three, what is your favorite Windows? Windows 7. Four, what is your opinion on Mac and Linux? They suck. Number five, have you ever tried Spy Sheriff? It's a malware that disguises itself as a fake antivirus. It's old, but it's really deadly. Uh, it's pretty much just the grandfather of rogues. It's not deadly, it's not dangerous, it's just old. Number six, can we see what you look like? Maybe for 100,000 subscribers. Number seven, what is your least favorite virus slash Trojan? I don't know, probably one that doesn't work. Muzzles56 asks, will you ever do a video on my doom? I get a surprising number of requests for my doom, so yeah, I'll probably do a video on it sometime. Matey1400 has three questions. One, why are you reviewing viruses? Because nobody else was doing it besides one person when I started. Number two, how many old computers do you own? Way too many. Number three, how did you meet Rogamp in the first place and how did the two of you begin to make videos together? Well, I met him when he started doing videos in 2009, after I started making my own and I liked his stuff and he liked my stuff, so we started watching each other's videos and keeping in contact. And then our first co-op video was pretty much just a spur of the moment sort of thing that we decided to do and people liked it a lot so we decided to roll with it. KOX3D asks, how's the weather in Texas? Well, past few days it's been really cold and today it was about 83 Fahrenheit so it's been pretty hot. So it's about the usual in Texas. Blitzkrieg Jack asks, what do you think about Linux and do you use it and if you do what distro are you using? I think Linux sucks hard and I would never use it. Paradox asks, how do you borrow an idea? Very carefully. Yoni Zabari asks, keep the channel alive, Dan, no matter what. That's not a question, Professor, but thank you, I will definitely do so. Texo Wairozawiwawo asks, will you make other computer videos not related to viruses, like interesting historical bugs in Windows, etc.? Probably not, unless there's a large demand for videos like that. Hat Hair asks, what do you think about WikiLeaks and the Edward Snowden leaks? Well, I don't know much about those, but I do know I appreciate Edward Snowden for leaking all this stuff to the government because now it's a pretty fun way to play Battlefield 1942 with some of my friends. XYX Favorite Videos XYX asks, have you ever been screwed over by a Trojan slash virus when you're doing actual work? Like when you're not testing viruses and then BAM! Trojan. No. Blade00362 asks, Do you think Texas should be kicked out of the U.S.? No. Do you even lift? No. Have you ever eaten donor? No. Intel or AMD? Intel. NVIDIA or AMD? No preference. Free Dustin asks, Will you ever test old school denial of service attacks like OOB or perhaps the C colon slash con slash con in an image tag trick in Windows 95 slash 98 slash ME? And did you ever use AOL? If yes, did you mess with them? I am chat room laggers. Well, in reference to the first question, I think I did the con slash con trick in my Windows 95 happy 17th birthday video. And I might take a look at some denial of service attacks if people are interested. And no, I've never used AOL, but I have used AIM in the early 2000s. I Raggy I asks, would you put 100 viruses in one computer at the same time, please? Well, there's not a whole lot of reason to do that because probably only one or two would end up doing anything worthwhile to watch, so probably not.
Dark Powra asks, where did you get the idea for your username and display picture? Well, Dano walked one come from two places. Dano was my family nickname, and October 1st is my birthday. And my display picture is a dust mite with sunglasses that I just thought was really funny, so I decided to go with it. Do Do NEC81 asks, can you make videos with operating systems like Windows 7, Vista, and 8? Uh, no. I could do some older malware on these just because they're compatible, but there wouldn't be much of a point to it other than saying I did it because I can. But if people really want to see that, I can probably make a few videos like that. Garrett B214 asks, what laptop are you using? I use a Lenovo IdeaPad Y580. It's probably the best laptop I've ever used. Flitter asks, where do you get all these old computers that you use for testing on physical computers? Also, I've seen you comment on YouTube poop music videos. Do you watch them often? I get my old computers on eBay, and I don't watch YouTube poop music videos as often as I used to, but I still do enjoy some of them. Rafisofian asks, how do you know all these viruses? I spend many hours studying to learn about them. Action Game Master asks, could you attempt to do a long play of Lose Lose? Maybe sometime. Rough Riders Evo asks, how did you get into virus testing? Well, I was always interested in viruses, and when the opportunity presented itself, I decided to start testing them as well. The Purple Peppy asks, do all toasters toast toast? No, all toasters toast bread. Jamie Miller asks, my browser is plagued by a plugin that doesn't show up on the add-on list. MBAM and Combo can't find it. Basically, random windows pop up and vanish, accompanied by an inbuilt window at the bottom of page advertisements. No obvious registry entry, nothing running in Task Manager, came courtesy of BTOS, JS, and Yon2, both since wiped. How to get rid of said problem? Format and reinstall windows. Tamer Zabo, sorry I'm not pronouncing that correctly, asks, I'm going to ask the same question that was unanswered in the last Q&A you did a long time ago, sorry. Don't know if you still remember it or not, but hey, I might try again. My question would be is, how on earth do you know when the payload activates on all of these retroviruses? Pretty sure you haven't reverse engineered them and there's got to be a list or something. Maybe you use old Windows DOS scanners that has a virus database with descriptions on all these payload activation dates and other information on what files are dropped on the system. Yeah, that's pretty much what I do, as well as Kaspersky and F-Secure's online database. And my sources are F-Secure and Kaspersky. FireX101 asks, can you demonstrate viruses on newer OS? I know you're a vintage virus tester, but it'd be cool if you could do old and new viruses. Well, new viruses aren't interesting at all, so no. Happy Mats Mastiha asks, will you ever work with Windows 7 or 8? Maybe. Joey the Red Stoner asks, do you know how to fix the virus Trojan.fake alert? It's running on our Windows 7 HP PC and keeps recreating itself like every second. It's almost like that one virus you reviewed. Please help. I guess either try malware bytes into malware combo fix or formatting and reinstalling the computer. Azurablade4912345 asks, what's your fave malware? To that, I definitely gotta say the Melissa Worm. Inhamep asks, who are you? I mean, what do you do? How did you start learning about viruses? Do you write exploits? Well, my name is Daniel. I test viruses for fun and as my hobby in my spare time. I go to school full time as a graduate student. Started learning about viruses in 2004 by reading antivirus descriptions. And no, I don't write exploits. E. Reynolds asks, how does a virus containing email not get detected by spam filters? Well, most authors these days have altered their techniques to including either password-protected zip archives or links to Java exploits or any other number of infection vectors that don't require sending executable attachments. Albi Noson asks, how are you able to run Virtual PC 2007 on Windows 7? When I try it, I get compatibility errors. Well, I'm going to assume you're using 7 Home Premium, which Microsoft specifically disabled from working with Virtual PC 2007. So you should probably look into VirtualBox or VMware. Fluttershy asks, if you were to infect a facility's computers with your viruses, what facility? If not, why? Well, I wouldn't infect anybody's computer with anything because one, I don't like to do illegal things like that, and two, I'm not an asshole. P 
Pitalk9 asks question one, will you make a video on how to make your own virus real? No. Two, what's your favorite virus slash malware? Melting screen. Oh no, here we go. XX Rake the Kitty XX asks, what is your all time favorite virus slash malware slash Trojan? It's definitely gotta be the LSD virus. Speeds Amon asks, what's your favorite type of malware and what was the hardest virus to get working? Favorite types, probably DOS viruses. Hardest to get working? I put a lot of effort into getting Espacio recorded, so probably that. Lou Modder asks, what got you into viruses and stuff? I don't remember if you told us before. Well, I got infected by Sasser in 2004, and that just pretty much snowballed into this whole hobby. Zorok asks, will you ever make videos with Windows 7 or Windows 8 or 8.1? Maybe. Neo Cueto asks seven questions. First, what's your favorite video game of all time? Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Favorite cartoon from your childhood? Probably Dexter's Lab. Number three, have you ever made music other than chiptune? Uh, I wrote a few pieces for cello, but they're really bad, and I lost the sheet music. Number four, do you really think that XP was a bad operating system in the period of two to three years after its initial release? Yes, it was very bad awful when it was first released. It wasn't until Service Pack 2 that it began to become better. Number five, what's your opinion on polymorphic viruses like polypos or polyp.a? AVs call it differently. Are they interesting enough for you to cover? The end result, I don't really care what the virus does in its infections or anything, it just has to do something interesting that the user can see. So that's what makes a good video. I could make so many videos on viruses that don't do anything at all, and I could call them virus videos technically because they are virus and they are on a video, but they wouldn't be interesting for you guys to watch because it wouldn't do anything nice. So, Number six, can you sing or at least attempt to the music from the techno virus for me? No, I can't sing, sorry. Number seven, are you terrified of U-shaped travel pillows? Can't say that I am. John Quax asks, what version of Microsoft Office do you use when you test MS Office macro viruses? Either Office 97 or Office 2000. Web Banana asks, what do you think of Rebecca Black Linux? Well, I hate Rebecca Black and I hate Linux, so I can't imagine the two pair off together very well. Dead Nuller Band has four questions. First, how long have you been testing viruses? Since 2007, so about seven years. Two, what was your first computer? Uh, some generic, I'm sure it was Gateway 2000 that my parents gave to me in 1995. Number three, I have heard about an Trojan can catch the computer on fire. Is that a myth or confirmed? Well, I don't know if it's actually possible, but if somebody has a proof of concept of a virus stopping a fan, then I'd love to see it. But until I see one of those, then I'd have to say it's a myth. Number four, IBM or Packard Bell. Oh, in regards to vintage computers, definitely IBM. They made top-of-the-line shit. ES has two questions. One, what is your favorite antivirus? Well, I don't really use an antivirus, so I'll just say my favorite anti-malware is MBAM, because that's the only security program I use on my computer. And two, how do you get all the viruses? Uh, very carefully. I've already deleted about 50 questions throughout this whole question and answer video asking where do you get the viruses? Because I'm not going to tell you. They're really easy to find. You just have to apply yourself a little bit. A little bit, you'll find them. But that's not going to stop me getting thousands of questions every month asking, where do you get the viruses, Dan? Sorry, that's not related to your question. I just had to get that off my chest. Bandicoot2222 asks, what got you interested in computer viruses? Getting infected by Sasser in 2004. The Game Boy ITA Minecraft Creativity asks, what are your PC specs? i7 2600K, 16 gigabytes of RAM, excuse me, ATI Radeon 6970. And what is your internet speed? Currently I have Verizon Fios at 75 megabits per second down and 35 up. Osaka Ramakun asks two questions. One, how heavy is your virus database in gigabytes? It is 116 gigabytes as it stands on my disk right now. And two, what is your favorite operating system? Windows 7. Kevin Panda Heart asks, what exactly got you into viruses and malware? Getting infected by Sasser in 2004. MK Star 26 asks, how would you rate Windows XP versus Windows 95 slash 98? 
guess it depends on what you need to use the operating system for, really. Two favorite virus of all time? Definitely the Him DOS virus. Number three, do you enjoy the probably thousands of crates layer covers thanks to your tutorial? Yes, they are pretty great. It's good to know that my tutorials helped a lot of people learn how to use FamiTracker. Penguin Brick asks how you got so much interest in virus. Well, they all just seemed really interesting to me, and they were not your typical computer technology related subject. So that probably helped spur my interest as well in learning more about them. Mr. Mental 6001 asks, can you make malware videos with Windows 8? Maybe. Nall asks, how long have you known Rogamp? Since early 2009. MRK23 asks, which OS do you prefer? Windows 7. Gorillas Bandit 123 asks, what antivirus program besides Malwarebytes do you recommend? Well, normally I'd say Avast Free, however, they seem to have been going a little downhill lately, at least with all their over the top scareware campaigns to get you to purchase their, their uh, product. Uh, in terms of good antiviruses, I've heard good things about Nod32 and Bitdefender, but don't quote me on that because I haven't used them myself. If you want to check out a pretty cool channel for antiviruses, there's a guy named M. Rezos, Matt Rezos, he does some pretty good reviews. Kenny Straight Fighter asks, what is the worst virus that you have seen or been through? CIH. Nick Rivera asks, can you try out Bagel and NetSky virus or you are an idiot.org virus? Well, first things first, I did Bagel on Ampdan 1 in the viewer special 2. I've already done the NetSky.de variant, and you are an idiot was never a virus but a very simple JavaScript Trojan that I will never make a video on because it's not interesting at all. That's it. Kenko Bloxen asks, what program do you like the best for emulating machines except from Windows Virtual PC 2007 since I can't run that? Well, I would say Windows Virtual PC 2007 because that's what I use. I guess if you had to use something else, I'd say VMware Workstation. Also asks, how do shared folders work in Windows 95 and Windows 98? Well, I only know how to use them in Virtual PC 2007, so I can't help you, sorry. Sarah Palin 4786 asks, are you a brony and do you play Minecraft? No. Janus Alus asks, favorite virus? To that I'd have to say Smash. I like to watch you asks, can you do a real virus with notepad? I have no idea what that means, so no. Yevo Crafts asks, tits or ass? I'm gonna have to say ass. Video Finders TV asks, do you like Linux PCs? No. FV Cody asks, will you ever show us your face? Maybe for 100,000 subscribers. Mr. McBlader asks, what is better, MS DOS or Windows 98? Explain why and include what viruses are better on each OS. Well, I guess viruses that are written for each specific kernel would be better for either one, so that's all I have to say about that. I guess which one depends, which one's better depends on what you need to use it for. There's no real definitive answer I can give as far as that goes. Potato on a bike asks, hey man, have you ever took the risk of doing one of your stunts on your personal computer and lost the battle? No. Jack Bates asks, what type of computer was your first OS and manufacturer? Well, uh, first one I ever used was some generic IBM compatible with Windows 3.1 and first one I owned was some Gateway 2000 I'm sure with Windows 95. Singer33 asks, do you have a gaming PC, work PC, or a laptop? Yes. The Lolly Lol 321 asks, how do I remove the paint without damaging the car? I guess with some sort of sandblaster, but I don't really know. Dalek22 comments asks my questions. What are your favorite all-time films, music slash artists, video games, and TV shows? And also, what do you think of Apple? Well, as far as favorite films, I'd have to say Office Space, Terminator 2, and Robin Hood Men in Tights. Music artists, probably Devo and Queen. Video games, probably the Mega Man series, especially Mega Man 9, and Sonic and Knuckles 3, Sonic 3 and Knuckles, 
And TV shows, uh, I like a few TV shows, mainly classic seasons of The Simpsons up to season 9 or so. And uh, Dexter's Lab, uh, Malcolm in the Middle is pretty good, King of the Hill, and probably a few more, but nothing comes to the top of my head other than those. Blade Poner asks, are you as sexy as your voice? Yes. Asshat McGee asks, are you sick of all these people asking where do you get your virus? More than you will ever know. Meow62 asks, what is your favorite video game? Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Clem5858 asks, could you ever make a video explaining how a virus works in detail, like you tell us what the text does? Yeah, maybe sometime when I learn a little bit more about assembly, I can break down a virus and explain what all the individual parts do. GP3159 asks, what's your favorite Pokemon? Probably Arcanine, because I always thought he was a really badass Pokemon. Team 56th has three questions. One, have you ever tried to make any virus yourself after you started shooting videos? No. Two, what do you think is the best platform for virus? Uh, probably MS-DOS, because... A lot of them were very creative. And three, you have seen and tried a whole bunch of virus for several years. What was the most amazing? What else do you want to see now? Probably seeing CIH actually wipe the BIOS was the most amazing thing I've seen making videos. And for now, I'd like to see Magister working, because it's one of the viruses that really got me into researching. And if I can get it to work, it'll probably be for a very high level subscriber milestone, maybe 100,000. Team 56 has a follow-up question. Oh, and the most important question, the rest can be ignored. Sorry, I already answered them. Why is it hard to demonstrate virus? You have stated something about that multiple times in your video, and I find it hard to understand what makes it hard to do that. Do they end up acting the way it's not supposed to be? Do they just fail to infect your computer? If so, why does whatever stops you from showing the virus happen? Well, for reasons unknown to me, malware behaves completely differently on camera as opposed to off camera. You can test viruses all you like off-camera, and they will run every single time. Then when you start running the camera and recording your session, it just doesn't work at all. And you're there on the spot, and your battery's running out, and you have to hurry up and try and find a way to make it work while stumbling over your words, stumbling over the keyboard, and just... It's just a mess. And it can be a real pain in the ass to get some viruses to work. But when they do work right off the bat, it's a really fun experience. Carmel Lolly asks, why do you like viruses? I like them because they're neat. Direct Awesomeness asks, what is your all-time favorite virus? Phantom 1. Jason Nerdy asks, will you ever make more Famitracker tutorial? Yes, I do have one that's planned and sort of in the making, but I'm not sure when I'll finish it up. Buds72 asks, do you accept user-made viruses and are you a programmer? The answer is no to both questions. Paul, at some extent, asks you are or were a security consultant slash something in the professional world of computing, or you were just doing this kind of video as a hobby? Uh, no, I was never employed doing anything like this or with computers. This is just purely a hobby. I do it to entertain and because I enjoy doing it. Nice Pixel asks, why do you like testing computer viruses and when did you start doing that? I like it because not a lot of people were doing it when I started, and I started doing it in 2008. Hot Rod6045 asks, what's the worst piece of malware you have ever owned and ever tested? I don't know what qualifies as worst. I guess, like, worst most destructive would be CIH. Worst least interesting. I'm not sure. There's plenty of benign viruses that don't do anything at all that are probably pretty boring. Apollo Justice 99 asks, what are you majoring in? I'm going for my master's in geospatial information sciences. Lewis in mine asks, with the virus crypto locker, would a Lenovo recovery button magically fix everything? It would fix everything in the same way that formatting and reinstalling your PC fixes everything. Uh, it'll remove it, but you'll lose all of your encrypted files and all of your other data as well. 98 Gaming Star asks, since you often test things on your, what's it called, the emulator thing you use, does it screw up your actual computer? Well, I use a virtual machine, and most of the time, no, but whenever you're testing malware, you should be prepared to lose all of your data. So, don't do it unless you're really serious about doing it. Number two, when you're done testing a virus and it's damaged the computer, how long does it take to fix it, or do you just get another one? 
Uh, I don't buy new computers because a virus has affected it. Uh, with virtual machines, I can just copy and paste the virtual hard drive over. That takes a few seconds. On physical machines, I just reinstall the operating system, which takes a few minutes, not long. Number three, what's the most dangerous virus for Windows 7 and Windows 8? Probably some rootkit or bootkit that includes some credential stealing uh, payloads, like bank software or password stealers. Because ruining your identity can be pretty shitty, so that's pretty dangerous. Not Your Ordinary Gamer asks, where would be the best place to get MS-DOS along with a computer that was built around the time MS-DOS was the best? eBay, by far. Me Cheese asks, what was the virus your computer got infected with? Sasser. IDR909 asks, what is your favorite OS? Windows 7. Mega 9 Man asks, one, what got you into virus testing? Being infected by the Sasser worm and then a bunch of research. And two, what is your favorite MS-DOS virus? Probably Techno. Zwing Y Tundas asks, how do I make an MS-DOS VM? By running some virtualization software and then installing MS-DOS in it. Hundreds 100 asks, one, how old are you? I'm 23. And two, that feel when no girlfriend or that feel when girlfriend. Uh, currently, I guess it's that feel when no girlfriend. However, it's not that bad living a single life, so I don't know. Dog asks, do you like ducks? Yeah, ducks are pretty cool. CG1245 Minecraft asks, if you made a virus, what would it do? Probably something graphical. Joe VFX asks, what's the biggest leak you've had with a virus in a VM to your physical computer? Probably the Gigger worm that deleted probably four files or so. Two, how did you meet Rogamp? Met him online on YouTube in 2009. Bob Smith asks, what was the hardest video to film? Probably Espacio. SGT Braiders asks, has your virus testing on virtual machines ever caused any major problems, excluding the one where all your shared documents were deleted on cam? Well, only four files were deleted, and other than that, no, not really. Wambulance asks, what was the most terrible virus you've personally encountered other than CIH? Well, I've only personally encountered a few, so I guess Sasser. Buster9252 has three questions. One, what do you use to record your screen when you test the virtual machine? I use Camtasia Studio 7. Two, what is the worst virus your computer has gotten unintentionally? I guess Sasser. Three, what got you into making videos of testing viruses? Sounded interesting to me. Reaper of Pears asks, what is your favorite band or musician? Devo or Queen? All Hail King is here 3 asks, do you like old viruses strictly because they tend to be more interesting or does nostalgia play a significant role as well? Well, I don't have any nostalgia for old viruses, so I guess it's because they're interesting. DSI Dude 345 asks, have you ever had an old PC with Windows 98 and got a virus on it through email? No. Joe Master the Second asks, "What is the best joke program in your opinion?" Probably Stripped or Bad Joke. Hi, man. I'm Bob. asks, "Why do you have a folder on your computer called Shitty Sim Games?" Well, if you're a fan of Amp Dan One, you stay tuned to that channel. You'll see soon enough. Magic Ara asks, "When are you going to do a new Fami Tracker tutorial?" Whenever I get around to making it. Sneaky Fox asks, do you ever do your own analysis of the various malware you come across, or do you rely on descriptions from the internet or and other sources? Also, have you ever considered setting up a honeypot? Well, I pretty much use other sources who have already decompiled viruses for me, though I am learning assembly a little bit to sort of disassemble malware. And no, I've never really considered setting up a honeypot, because I don't do much with newer malware in the first place. Mega Craft Animations asks, why did you start making virus reviews? Because it sounded like fun. Jameson Martiano asks, what made you want to test viruses? Sounded like fun. Spam Hater 160 asks, did you get Magister to work? No. Rockin' Parrot asks, do you like pancakes? Yes, I do. Angel Garcia James has three questions. First, worst infection? I guess Sasser. Two, do you have any other hobbies or collections you have? I collect vintage software and write 8-bit music. 
3, what was the first computer you got? Some old Gateway 2000 OEM PC. Hepa Sketch asks, how do you clear the viruses from the 95 drive? I'm assuming you mean Windows 95, uh, format and reinstall the operating system. Billy O'Reilly asks, what is your favorite virus? Definitely AIDS. Z -Zer Zot Hip Hop asks, have you ever written or tried to write a virus? No. 4211 Productions asks, if you could get your hands on them, would you ever consider making videos about the 80s and early 90s viri that infect the classic Mac OS? CG Enver init 19 scores. I had a Mac as a kid, and I read about these in the documentation of the virus scanner we had, and I used to be scared of some of the relatively ridiculous payloads, like the Mac saying don't panic using text-to-speech, which the only the Mac had in the 80s. Well... Yeah, I actually do have these viruses. I just need a platform to test them on. I don't have a classic Mac that would work with them, and I don't know of any emulators either, so maybe I'll have to look into it some more and make them for a special video sometime. Anthony Luca asks, what was your first ever personal computer? Some Gateway 2000 piece of crap, I'm sure. Jabber Wacky asks, do you enjoy testing viruses? Do you think it's really interesting how they work in creative ways? Yes. Rogamp asks, I want to know why you such a bitch. Well, Rogamp, I want to know, why are you copying my question to you? Why can't you come up with any original content? And why are you such a bitch? Hatsisa Cat asks, why did you start testing viruses? It sounded fun. Logan Bam asks, why is your name DanaWalked1 and what does your profile picture mean? Dano is my family nickname, October 1st is my birthday. And the profile picture is just funny because it's a dust mite with sunglasses. Super Nico E asks, Hey Dan, this question might be a bit unrelated, but if you were to recommend an old computer to a first time computer collector, which one would you recommend? Any kind that are particularly fun to mess around with? Do you prefer in general? Uh, not really, and I would specifically recommend if you're looking for MS DOS, probably some old 486DX processor based computer. And if you're looking for a Windows 9X, probably an old Pentium 1 or Pentium MMX processor. Tide YouTube asks, favorite Linux distro? Windows 7. Chris Ratchlinski asks, what was your first computer? Some old Gateway 2000 computer. General Chrono asks, do you play any video games, and if you do, which ones? Well, of course I play video games. Lately I've been playing a lot of Age of Empires 2 HD, Age of Empires 3, Age of Mythology. Civilization 5, uh, Mega Man games, Battlefield 1942, Battlefield Vietnam, a lot of older stuff, but stuff I enjoy more than playing newer games. March 12314 asks, how do you manage to remain a schedule with video releases as well as deal with outside events that usually intend to mess things up? And another thing, is there any momentum that persuades you to keep making videos? Well, I don't really stick to any schedule at all. In fact, I'm about two or three weeks late with a new video. And the only momentum I have is that I still enjoy doing this, so I still make videos when the inspiration arises. Darken Moon 97 asks, why do you still use Virtual PC 2007? Why not switch over to something more modern, like VMware Workstation, VMware Player, or VirtualBox? Because Virtual PC 2007 does exactly what I need it to do every single time. Super Thunder Remix asks, what about Virus the Game? P.S. I actually found it on the internet, but it doesn't work right. How do I get it to work? Well, to get it to work, I suggest buying a retail copy, because this game is a tremendous, uh... I don't want to spoil anything, but the video is coming out soon. I just need to actually record it at some point. But I got it all planned out. Camo Cake asks, can you make videos where people ask for you to test programs and things and see if there are viruses or anything? If you want a service like that, I suggest just using Virus Total to scan unknown executables. Sir Fat Cat asks, what's the worst infection you have personally ever had? Sasser. Sbrisk Varg has two questions, one Android or iOS. Well, I have an iPhone 5, so iOS, I guess. And two Windows 8 or Windows 7, definitely Windows 7. Teiko Yasuhiro asks, I've seen you use both virtual machines and real computers in your videos. Do you prefer using virtual machines or actual computers? I definitely prefer actual computers. 
as they're more authentic to the whole experience, however, they take much longer to get set up and ready to go and restored for every video. So pretty much virtual machines are just out of convenience more than anything else. Kuba F2000 asks, will you do a video on the virus game thing? Yes, I will. Shitin' the J Brolic asks, do you like furry porn? No. Gabin Malod asks, do you like duck? Yeah, duck is pretty tasty. Tyler Rabito asks, what was the first piece of malware you were infected by? Sasser. Luigi Harris Mario fan asks, why not much videos? Because I'm a full-time college student first and foremost, this channel is purely a hobby, and I don't get paid other than ad revenue for making these videos, so I don't put too much faith into making them as regularly as I probably should, but I still like to make them when I can, because people seem to enjoy them. DJ Alon Devil asks, why most of your videos made on Win95, 98, or 2000? Why not on XP? I know you're doing this on Virtual Machine, but why not XP or Vista? Because most of the viruses I review are made for specific operating systems, and to test them on anything else would be incredibly stupid. Some Russian Mario dude has multiple questions. First, what inspired you to make these videos? They sounded fun. Two, are there any more old, old malware videos that you would like to remake if possible? Yeah, there's a few that I'm looking to remake, but I can't tell you off the top of my head what they are. Three, what is your most favorite virus worm Trojan you have ever tested? Probably CIH, because the video worked out really well. Four, why do you prefer testing Win9X, Win32 malware on virtual PC over the standalone PC? Because the effects aren't that different in between virtual machines when it comes to Windows 95 and 98. So for the sake of convenience, it's pretty much the same thing just to do it in a virtual machine. Yeah, how many computers do you have in total? Several dozen, I'm sure, by now. And what is your favorite video game if you have it? Uh, Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Starring Odessa asks, what is the most devastating modern piece of malware that you know of, excluding rogues? Probably any info stealer. Vital Singer asks, what kinds of computers do you collect and what do you currently have in your collection? I collect old computers that pop up for cheap amounts on eBay. I currently have probably too many computers, including an IBM 5155, K-Pro 2, a bunch of old portables like the Compact Portable 1, stuff like that. Ezio Assassin asks, does switching to Geico save more? I guess it depends on what you're switching from. John Burns asks, what was the first time you heard about computers slash the internet? Well, I heard about computers first because the internet wasn't really main place, common stay in the early 90s. But I, there hasn't been a time in my life where I wasn't interested in computers. Finn is totally not here. Asks, what is your least favorite virus? Not one that didn't work, though. I have no idea. Connor Harkness asks, Dan, do you ever plan on investigating newer viruses that primarily affect Windows 7 and up? I'm sure there are plenty of interesting ones out there, aside from all the garbage ransomware and keyloggers. Well, all the interesting ones are ransomware, probably because they're actually in your face and telling you to go to hell and give me money. All the other ones are incredibly silent, don't do anything visible to the user, and steal your credentials or push other fake wear. So they're really not interesting at all. So no, I probably won't take a look at any of those. Tyler McCoy has three questions. First, computer, some gateway 2000 OEM PC. Two, what got you into computer viruses? Being infected by Sasser in 2004. Three, verse fires you tried out, love letter worm. Dr. Locker asks, are there any cool viruses you can get through the Wayback Machine? Not that I know of. Max Kroll asks, why is the delay in vids so big? Because I'm a full-time student and I do this as a hobby. Super Ted 19021 asks, are you ever going to do the Magister Worm if you get it to work? I would also like to see remakes to Care, WMR, Trojan, and several other older videos if you can. I will definitely do all of those if they work. A Sixington asks, do you have a favorite flavor of cake? Not really, I'm down for about just about any type of cake. The unnamed player asks, has a virus ever scared you when you were not expecting it? Several times, especially MS-DOS viruses, since they pop up very loud and very suddenly. And how do you feel about Rogamp? I think Rogamp is a pretty cool guy who doesn't afraid of anything. IOS Warrior asks, do you have Steam, and if so, what is your favorite game? I do have Steam. 
probably Civ 5 or Age of Empires 2 HD are my favorite games on Steam. Red Rar asks, what OS do you use for your day-to-day -day tasks? Windows 7. RB506 asks, what are all of your computers that you bought for your personal use, not the ones that you collect system manufacturer? Well, I built my main PC and I own a Lenovo laptop. Thunderfox98 asks, hey Danawalked1, have you ever thought about developing your own operating system? No. Siler Black asks, what was your first gaming console slash what was your first video game? That is the Sega Genesis and the first Sonic the Hedgehog. Len4832 asks, did you ever try any old Linux or Mac OS 9 or older virus? No. The Last Tacos asks, will you start making more remakes? Yes. Fusion Armor X asks, have there been any testing sessions that have went worse than intended? Any disaster stories? Not really. Trees and Codeine asks, what does your favorite shirt look like? Well, I have a couple favorite shirts. I got one that I had screen printed that has the Phantom 1 virus skull on it. And I have another one that's royal blue and has the Windows 95 BSOD printed on it. OMG Guy 18 asks, PC or Mac? PC. Lol Lollinson asks, could you make your own personal virus and show us it in a video? No. XBUX asks, how do you classify all these viruses you mess with, and what should I fear with a normal Windows 7 computer? I classify them based on Kaspersky's definitions, and I guess you should be afraid of unsafe browsing habits and Java. Coder3D asks, are you really a camera with arms and legs, long ass old reference, or are you human? Also, what do you look like? Uh, I look like a human actually. I'm not actually a camera with arms and legs, as seen in that one video. IDR909 asks, which gaming consoles did slash do you own? I actually own quite a few as you can see in this picture. From the NES to a sharp twin Famicom in the bottom left to Wii, N64, PS1, PS2, Xbox 360, Atari 2600, GameCube, Sega Genesis, and a few more that aren't pictured. Bree Possible asks, if you were to design any sort of virus worm, what would it be, what would it do, and for what OS? Probably be a DOS virus that did something really cool with the screen. Also, why the name AmpDan1 for your and Rogue Amps co-op channel? I thought Amster Dan was pretty clever. You know, so did I, but we chose the name first and then thought of Amsterdam later. Somebody suggested it too late, but that's okay. Earl Falk asks, what was your most frustrating experience with Windows or DOS? Probably viruses not doing what they're supposed to do whenever I'm recording. Christophers Calvins asks, how many computers or MS-DOS have you trashed? Also, what was your most frustrating virus? Well, the only computer that doesn't work anymore was the one used in the CIH video. All the others can be formatted and reused. Most frustrating virus, probably Espacio, because it required many hours of recordings to get it all in one video. Seven Blade Jenkins asks, what is your favorite TV show? I guess seasons one through nine of The Simpsons. The Pirate Gamer Boy 12 asks, I know I've asked Rogamp this, but whatever. Do you collect retro video formats like Laserdisc and stuff? No, not really. I don't really collect any video formats, actually. Ty Neria asks, has a computer you were making a vid with ever failed because of a virus, malware, etc.? Only the CIH one. Madeline R asks, what's your favorite DOS virus? And also, how about Windows? Favorite DOS virus is Math Test. My favorite Windows virus is Rigel. Kitty Felix asks, what kind of malware do you find the most interesting? Trojan Horse, Virus, Worm, Rootkits, AdWare, Bots, etc.? Definitely viruses. Rogamp asks, what is the stupidest PM you have ever received on YouTube? For the full effect, here is the PM, and I'll re now read it to you to the best of my abilities. Funny school computer hacking. At school, my friend was on her computer and a dialogue came up saying, you are hacked, lol, and then all the programs closed and the computer logged off. Then she rebooted it. And the same thing happened, but the computer shut off. Then she rebooted it again. Then when she was logging on, her username was deleted off the text box, and all of a sudden it said poop. 
at that point I was laughing my ass off. Then she rebooted it again. Then a giraffe appeared on the screen and even though she turned the computer off, the giraffe was burned onto the screen. LOL. Then everybody's internet wasn't working. Everybody's. Then we were getting scammed and pop-ups. Our school computer system was fucked. And you know why? Because I disabled the antivirus. Attached video, how to make a Terminator face in Adobe Photoshop. Wasp Gaming asks, why do you and Rogamp sound alike? I wasn't aware we sounded anything alike, actually. And this is the first time I've ever heard this. Microsoft Enterprises asks, gosh, why are you so funny? I don't know. Endehan asks, why do you dislike Sultans of Swing? I dislike this terrible song because Lone Star 92.5 plays it non-stop over every other Dire Straits song and they won't even give Money for Nothing a chance because that is clearly the superior Dire Straits song. Mega Dennis 2002 asks what inspired you to make virus videos, thanks. It sounded like a fun thing to do at the time, it still sounds like a fun thing now. 47 Harriers asks what was the best slash worst virus you have ever tested? Best, I guess I would say CIH, and I don't really know the worst one. Probably some nondescript benign virus that probably didn't get made into a video. Super Ben3532 asks favorite virus of 2004? Sasser. Obsequious Tarantula asks is mayonnaise an instrument? No. And horseradish is not an instrument either. In and Outland has a dozen questions. Question 1, what do you think is the future of viruses with Windows Defender plus MSE being integrated in Windows 8 and antivirus and anti-malware apps getting better? Well, I think virus authors will definitely find a way to get past these measures as they have always done in the past. There will always be something for anti-malware vendors to be fighting. Question 2, what is the deadliest virus out of each major malware slash virus category? The only truly deadly one is CIH because that one is the only one that manages to touch the hardware. So question 3, what do you think will happen on April 8th, 2014, the day that Windows XP support ends? Absolutely nothing, because antivirus support will still be there for a majority of people. Question 4, favorite and least favorite piece of malware? Favorite malware is probably CMOS dead. Uh, least favorite, I don't know, probably something that didn't work. Question 5, what browser do you prefer? Firefox. Question 6, what do you think about the future of Windows? I honestly don't know. I hope they shy away from this Metro interface style shit they've got going on now, because I really don't like it. And I don't think I'm going to upgrade if they keep doing that. Question 7. Who are your favorite YouTubers and who are you subscribed to? Uh, I guess other technology channels. Uh, there's a really cool guy, I think his name is Jason Alderman, who makes pretty cool LEGO engineering products, like a clock and a mechanical keyboard. It's pretty neat. Question 8. What video editing software do you use? For VMware videos, I use Camtasia Studio, and for physical computer videos, I use Sony Vegas. Question 9. Have you ever played Flabby Bird? No. Question 10. Why you know Showface? Because it has absolutely no impact on the content of the videos. That's not the point of this channel. The point of the channel is to show viruses. Favorite 11, or question 11, sorry. Favorite color? Probably red. Question 12. Favorite number? I don't know. I don't think I have a favorite number. I guess we'll say 3. Dark Hero Awesomeness asks, If you were to change the name and or location of the Windows directory, would any of the viruses not work? Also, I posted my previous comment before seeing you DOS shared folders video. Uh, some viruses that were poorly coded used a hard-coded Windows directory, which would cause them not to work. But most use the generic path name, or, you know, the percent Windows percent that finds the system directory on systems. And Dehan asks, what do you think of the color pink? I think of the color pink, especially in reference to Pink Floyd, that pink is an exceptionally gay color, and that, especially when it comes to Pink Floyd, Tupac is better. Anthony Deleg asks, question one, what is your least favorite virus? One that didn't work. Question two, what antivirus is your favorite? Probably Malwarebytes anti-malware. Question three, what OS is your favorite and least favorite? Windows 7 is my favorite, and any flavor of Linux is my least favorite. Cyberisk Varg asks, best Android protection? I don't use an Android phone, so I have no idea, but I know F-Secure makes an antivirus for Android, so I'm gonna say F-Secure. 
because they're the only ones I know. Mila Hurricanes asks, can you do a video on Sir Cam Worm? It was the first virus I was hit by. If it does something visually interesting to look at, yeah, I can probably do a video on it. Primpy asks, what do you use to open Windows 95 on Windows 7? I use Virtual PC 2007. Asala asks, specs, possible setup video? I won't make a setup video because my cable management is atrocious, but I have a i7 2600K, 16GB of RAM, and an ATI Radeon HD 6970. A person asks, what was the worst injury you have ever had? Uh, once in my freshman year of high school, I hyperextended my knee and I couldn't walk on it right for about a week. That was pretty annoying. S-Y-U-T-O, the gel dummy, asks, Do you have any Commodore Amiga computers? Have you ever seen viruses for Amiga PCs? Uh, I know of viruses for Amigas, but I've never owned an Amiga, so I haven't been able to take a look at them. Atari Garcia asks, what is your all-time favorite version of Windows? Also, will you marry me, please? Thanks, Victoria. Uh, favorite version of Windows is Windows 7, and okay. The Naked Pineapple asks, have you ever been infected with a virus? Like, seriously, not intentionally. With Sasser in 2004 and some generic root kit in 2007. Austin Carroll asks, have you ever thought about pursuing a career in technology? Maybe if GIS doesn't work out, I could be an IT specialist or something. Tom Lukey Wood asks, did the ZX Spectrum ever get a virus? Not that I know of. Maniax613 asks, how do you run these videos in VirtualBox or DOSBox without getting a virus on your computer? Also, when you're receiving the viruses, how do you get them onto your computer without it being infected? Well, when I'm putting them on my PC, I just don't run the file, which doesn't infect my PC. And I use a virtual machine to avoid infecting my host whenever I make a video. Patrick Maher asks, why do you focus on the older malware rather than the new ones? Because the old ones are interesting. Steelers Rule 1011 asks, I was messing around with some coding and came up with a few simple pieces of malware. Would you be interested in me sending samples to you, or do you only do viruses that you can actually get? Please keep in mind, I'm not going to release any of this to the public, I was just playing around with some coding. I get requests every day for people to send me user-made malware. However, I don't really accept it. Unless it's written in assembly for MS-DOS, I'm really not interested. Or unless it's something truly, really special that's not been seen before on this channel. Otherwise, no, I really don't want it, sorry. Sir Jake Milan asks, Do you think DDoS attacks and adwares are going to dominate 21st century thanks to our novice computer users? No, I really don't think script kitties are going to have that much of an effect on the future of malware. Benjamin Garrett Brady asks, What is your favorite virus for MS-DOS, Windows 95, Windows 98, Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7? Also, what is your favorite color? Favorite virus for all of those Simpsons, or all of those uh, systems is Cyberside, and favorite color is red. Benjamin Gerard Brady asks again, which OS do you prefer, Windows, Mac, OS X, or Linux? Definitely Windows 7. U52 asks, how did you react to Windows 8 not having a standard start menu? I thought it was pretty stupid. Dominant asks, what is the most disappointing piece of malware you've ever tested? something that didn't work. Also asks, Descent just got re-released on Steam two days ago. How is it? Is it worth the price? Currently it's on sale for $3.49, goes up to $7 normally. Well, after seeing your comment, I actually went and bought it when it was on sale, and it's incredibly disappointing, because it's just the DOS version running in DOSBox with terrible sound, terrible music, and just bad all around. So if you've already got Descent, don't waste your money buying it on Steam, because it doesn't do anything. Ben Mursa asks, what is the worst OS in terms of security holes? As of right now, I'd probably say Windows XP. RB506 asks, do you know or ever met Rogamp in real life? No. Tommy TS asks, what do you do outside of YouTube? Dan O Oct one I go to school and dick around on the internet. Leon Dickinson asks, best free anti-malware, excluding malware bytes. Probably a vast, although they're going downhill recently. Hot Dog Tutorials asks, have you ever legitimately had one of the viruses that you have reviewed in the past? Only Sasser. Sprite Minecrafter 121 asks, Windows 7 or 8? Definitely Windows 7. 
Dog Skyrim asks, what is your favorite virus that has nothing to do with you or AmpDan1? Uh, maybe CryptoLocker? I don't know if that has anything to do with AmpDan1, but I know it doesn't have anything to do with me. Demonic Sonic asks, Dear Dan Coot one in the future will you make viruses for newer versions of Windows? No. Threx1 asks, What's your strategy for making original songs in Famitracker, and what's your favorite operating system? For making songs, I just kind of wing it. And my favorite operating system is Windows 7. The Emperor 12 asks, Are you making more virtual machine virus videos? I guess so. I didn't know I was stopping. Killer Patrick NC asks, can you sell me that Packard Bell computer or at least find another one just like that? Well, I won't sell you it because it's the perfect virus machine, but if you want one of your own, search eBay for a Packard Bell Legend 316SX. Blue Freaker asks, what would be an ideal Explorer replacement for Windows 8? I don't use Windows 8, so I don't know. Maybe Start 8? Captain Mac Rooster Sauce asks, which of the viruses that you have reviewed is your favorite? Mine is Maldol. Well, my favorite virus is my life. Mickey Sayaka Fan asks, have you ever wrote your own virus? No. Golden Crab asks, best virus on Mac and Linux? Mac, I guess, scores, and Linux, I guess, the ramen worm from 2000 or 2002, whenever that was. XX Cow Goes Wolf X7 asks, What made you get into testing viruses and collecting old PCs operating systems? Got infected with Sasserworm in 2004 and started making videos in 2008 when nobody else was doing it. And just kept doing it since then. Farhan Islam asks, I want to ask some different to everyone else. Are you gay? And also, what is your favorite mobile platform? Well, no, I'm not gay. And. I guess my favorite is iOS because I have an iPhone 5. The father of puns asks, what was wrong with your eyesight? I was incredibly nearsighted, but luckily LASIK has given me 2015 vision, so it's pretty damn good now. StarVR344 asks, what is the best place to get boot disks? I guess bootdisk.com if you can't get a hold of an original boot disk for your machine. Sky55043 asks, when did you decide to start studying about viruses and their properties? Do you have any tips for me to start with? I started researching them in 2004. The only tip I really have is if you're going to start testing malware, be prepared to lose all of your data on all of your machines on your network. Otherwise, don't start playing around with it, because it is serious stuff, and you can significantly ruin your day if you're not careful. Virtual Wolf 12 asks, can you beat up Rogamp? Yes. PCGar095 asks, Be honest, has a virus ever made a complete bitch out of you? No. TubeMaster567 asks, What computer do you use? I use a computer that I built in 2011. WDursley asks, Has Gruel ever given you a real error? I don't know what you mean by that. Figgy City asks, get all the DOS viruses you have shown off and run them all at once. Well, that wouldn't work because DOS is incredibly single tasking and just wouldn't run well together, so afraid I can't really do that. Falcon Comic asks, do you have any experience in cybersecurity aside from testing malware? No. Isaac Coker asks, what is your favorite computer virus, both MS DOS and Windows? Favorite MS-DOS virus is probably Olympic AIDS. Favorite Windows virus is Pikachu. Jose Luis asks, Did you ever happen to format all your data, but you don't realize that you didn't back up your data? No, I usually have complete backups that are off-site, so I don't really have to worry too much about that. Flager Ace asks, Is the Oct-1 from your name? What is it? Is it Oct-1 like October 1st? Is it a date where a virus activated? Where did you get this part of your name? And are you beautiful? Will you show your face once? The Oct-1 is partially from Dano, my family nickname. And Oct-1 is my birthday, October 1st. And I guess I am beautiful, yes. And I'll show my face when I have 100,000 subscribers. Rogamp asks, Virus, the game. Fuck this game. Please do a review on it. You asshole. Thanks. Wow, I guess I gotta do it now.
Ghost Recon 141 asks, when are you going to start doing 8-bit covers of Dad Rock songs? Probably whenever the need arises to do so. Fos asks, what is your favorite video game? Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Orestesim76 asks, four questions. One, what is your favorite Windows of all time? Windows 7. Two, how many BSOD have you got? Probably about 20, but most of that was from when my Sager laptop's motherboard was failing. Three, did you get pissed off when a virus won't work? All the time. Four, what music do you like? I like chip tunes and video game music and dad rock. RB506 asks, what is the most devastating virus you got on your personal computer before doing these videos? Sasser. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed all the questions and answers. Sorry if I didn't get to yours. Sometimes YouTube either eats your comment or I just felt it wasn't really appropriate for the scope of this video. Either way, no offense personally if I didn't get to your question. Uh, thank you all for submitting your questions. I did try to answer as many as I could and ended up answering over 300 of them for this video. So, hope you enjoyed watching and see you next time with more viruses.